Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. Um, this is Mainframe Defenders. I think this is just a new update that they've done. Uh, meltdown, I guess. This is Mainframe Defenders. And uh, I picked it up for like $3. I don't... I would say this game is probably more closely... Um, defined as like an XCOM-like than a uh, roguelike. But it's got roguelike-ish elements, so maybe you'll like it. And who knows, you know, like the tactics tactics in rogue games are, uh, you know, they, they, they have some carryover in other games. So, you know, I, I think that if you like roguelikes or traditional roguelikes, you will likely enjoy this one. Um, so let's, let's have a look. I, I've done the tutorial. And uh, there's a lot to learn about this game, which is kind of what I like about it immediately. Um, and it's got that uh, that kind of element where you um, you'll, you'll grow to sort of grow attached to some of your your characters or your squad mates, um, and then you will lose them and cry for several days. So let's um, go, we're gonna I'm gonna pick some of the guys that were in the tutorials. In the tutorial um, because that makes life easy on me. Oh, what is a synapse? Magnetic cannon. That sounds cool. Magnets are cool. Um, let's pick that. We're, we're on very easy. Allied units start with bonus stats. Recommended for players completely new to the genre. No, 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 no. We want, we want normal. Uh, we can have four squad mates, so why don't we also have this tank looking fellow here? It's got a needle gun. Sure. Uh, research points zero. We're gonna. We're just gonna go ahead with this. I haven't seen the intro yet, so I will. If there's a lot, I will. I will stay quiet. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I don't know if uh, if games are going for a loading screen aesthetic or if they're gen generally or genuinely loading. So um, you acquire this currency called matter in your game, and I, at least in the tutorial, uh, you will lose it over time. So I'm not sure if that's true in this one. So we have tier progression. Um, destroy the maintenance station. These are missions. Can I? I can take these missions. Maybe. Start. Oh, I see. These are missions, and I can take them. Aha. Okay. And I will gain matter if I complete them. Um, we have difficulty easy. Let's do a uh, armor shredder. I mean, sure. Let's just do a, a mission. And have a look at our squad for a moment. Um, so we start with 300 matter. We could immediately make some stuff. Gain 20 matter per completed mission. Yeah, I mean that sounds like it'll immediately pay for itself. Um, can anyone take that? I get kind of a, a vibe from this game. I, I'm trying to remember the name of that game. It was like a horror game where you controlled robots uh, in like derelict spaceships. I get a little bit of a, of a that game vibe from this. Um, I should I should go back to that game. It was actually pretty cool. Magnetic cannon, acid infuser. All weapons applies for corrosion upon dealing damage. Deals one damage per stack. Okay, so there's a lot of, you know, balancing stats in this game. A lot of reading. Uh, I'm gonna give you a, as quick of a of a um, snapshot of this game as I can, um, to you know, for the sake of keeping this video short-ish. So let's just go ahead and throw, try and throw this on anyone. We can't throw it on there. Uh, I'm not sure why. This says repair kit. Used on allied units. Uh, what about this guy? Acid infuser. I already looked at that one. So I guess you can only have one of these. So if I could, if I took this off, could I put this on? Apparently not. Oh, there, there we go. I wonder if I just didn't put it in right. Nope. No, there's, that's absolutely not true. So maybe you can upgrade it to have more stuff. Removes one status. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, you know, I did the tutorial and it did not cover a lot of this stuff. Um, so if it seems like I'm like stupidly ignorant on the basics of this game, 
you're not wrong to think so, but I'm trying my best. So anyway, I, I know how to play this game. Let's let's uh, let's play it. The sector serves as a repair base for the infected units. Destroying this base will reduce the infected units' retention rate. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I understand what that means. So we have our four squad mates here. We can click on them. We can see what they have. They have some weapons. They have some uh, armor, maybe. Um, this guy can uh, infuse acid, which is pretty good. Uh, da, 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 da. So I guess we want to... What, what are our objectives? Destroy all infected maintenance objects. One left. Um, opponents... Squad will awaken soon. Two turns left. Enemy reinforcements will start to spawn in ten turns. Okay, so we don't lose matter on this mission, but we will have to fight more stuff. So there's our first opponent, a heavy spider. They've got a arm spider laser. Um, this will cost heat. So there's a lot of things to keep track of. There's armor. There's hull. Uh, AP is like action points. It works pretty much like Into the Breach, if you've ever played that. Where you, um, you know, your units can only move... And, and fire a certain number of times per turn. Uh, heat happens when you, you know, you basically, when you're firing your weapon um, and it's reduced 10 per turn. Move range seven. So we, and we can just hover over and we can see, okay, they can, they can get this far. Um, how, what's their firing range? So we know that based on this, uh, that this robot can unfortunately get to the door and then shoot my, my dude. So we're just gonna go ahead and move our units up and then end our turn. Ah, they did nothing. Oh, that's right. They are going to awaken soon, meaning they are not awaken. They're not they're not wait, uh, awake yet. So let's go ahead and get in there. Ah, they've been alerted. So they will be they will wake up early if you go inside their range. This is good to know. This is a thing that I definitely knew and am not just firing, um, finding out right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and use our needle gun and our needle gun applies one internal damage upon dealing damage. Uh, temporary effects deals 15% max health as damage each turn, ignoring armor. And this is a dude who has status effect reduction. So that is actually not a good thing to use on them because they have a reduction. Um, although it does, I don't know, it does one damage to, to their uh, internal health, their, their actual, is it hull? You have hull and armor, so I guess, hmm, I'm not sure. Well, 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 we'll use it, we'll see what happens. It did damage to them. Uh, we can see right here, they've taken some damage. Uh, this guy, I don't think can... Oh, they can reach him. Okay, so let's do some magnetic cannon damage as well. Dang. That was that was pretty good. Cost 2 AP. Applies to imp interfe interference upon dealing damage. Temporary effect. Reduces damage of all weapons by 50%. Nice. Can we... We can reach with the acid cannon as well. I mean, that's the same thing again. That is... Definitely a status effect damage, and they definitely have a reduction to that. That being said, we are basically hitting them with everything. So they will likely die. They did not die. That's fine. They've done a little bit of damage. Everyone is jumping in and doing their business. We have more enemies over here. Okay. So I'm going to move. Um, I'm going to try and... Let's see what the, the range is. Okay, so... It doesn't matter where we move because the enemy can pretty much move wherever they want and they have enough range to reach us. But we do have this nice wall here, so maybe we can stop at least one of them from uh, being able to attack us. So let's go ahead and use our cannon. That'll destroy that guy. That's fantastic. And we'll move in here. I think that'll work. And we're going to go ahead and use the standard the roguelike tactic. It's not specific to roguelike but we're gonna use the tactic of letting them come to us so that we um get you know the jump on them wow this uh this guy actually has some clever ai there actually fired and then moved back behind cover i appreciate that level of um intelligence can i reach them i cannot 
we can do some damage to the uh, the wall though. So I guess something you can do uh, if we're so inclined is we could attack the wall and then have our other units um, come in and hit them with actual weaponry. Lightweight propulsion, plus five second move range, minus seven heat applied at the end of the turn. Okay, okay, armored plating. Uh, we have an auto cannon here. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this guy to block. Um, you know, they have some armor plating, so I'm, I'm hoping that they can tank a little bit more damage. So I'm hoping blocking this opening will, will help. Ah, I actually killed them, very nice. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. In destroy all infected maintenance objects. One left. I'm not sure what that means just yet, but I'm sure if we explore, we will find out. Um, we can we can move. So let's uh, split our guys up a little bit. That's always the first thing you should do whenever they're like you know. You're in a situation where there are robots trying to kill you. You should always split up. Aha, we have... Oh, we can see them over here. Okay, so this is the repair station, a heavy spider, fabricator. Well, we can... I don't know. There's still not... Nothing over here that I really... That seems, like, objective-specific. There's a repair station. So I'll start moving some units over there, at the very least. And uh, that way I can also come over here and try and take out our our friend here who is very smart enough to stay behind cover. Ah, that's not going to do it. Uh, meanwhile, what do we have here? Scorpion. Can these guys move? They look like the kind of unit that cannot move. Uh, move range six. They definitely can move. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and pincer tactic this guy. Uh, that's just a fancy term for I'm going to move in there and shoot them. Oh, there's an enemy right here. That's... That was... that's me just, like, not seeing it. Uh, plus two armors. So they have some extra armor, but we have our acid cannon, so maybe that'll... I don't know. Who knows? The, the acid cannon doesn't do any real direct damage, it's, it just does damage over time. Applies 16 corrosion upon dealing damage. Lasts indefinitely. Uh, I don't, did I actually do any damage? I did, so they do have the corrosion. Deals 16 damage each turn. Ignoring armor and they also have interference. So they've their weapons have been reduced So what we should do actually is find out who's doing imp interference this guy and they should be kind of Moving around and firing at least once on everyone Of course, how long does that last three turns? Yeah, so they should be doing that to everyone to kind of debuff them So let's uh, end our turn that guy died. That's great. This guy is... well, this guy is tanking some damage, which is good. We don't want them to die, but they are tanking the damage, which is good. Uh, we have our spider here, so let's go ahead and continue. Well, they have... they have the bio, bio steel? Yeah, or they have this status effect reducing armor. So we don't want to hit them with the acid cannon. We want to instead come over here and hit this guy with the... No, never mind, that's the same business. Is there anyone who doesn't have the isolated internals? Uh, you know, I, I, I... Error on the side of, like, do some damage anyway, because it does, it does, uh, you know, hurt them. Um, we can continue firing on this guy. And uh, does this guy have a debuff? They don't, so I should move our friend in here and hit them with a magnetic core or cannon. Um, we can explore. Can, is this guy within my range? Does not look like it, unfortunately. So I'd have to move in one and then hit them with a needle. Ah, they're almost dead. They, they I think they should dur, uh, dur. They should die on the next uh, turn. There, there they go. I do like that the enemies are smart. Smart enough to move behind cover and stuff. I appreciate that. Um, 
So does this have, this has a debuff. This guy has a debuff as well. Um, and they're almost dead. But I, so I, this has the armored plating, um, so he's actually the only person where hitting them. Oh wait, no, never mind. I was wrong. Okay, so I should ha I should hit hit them with the auto cannon. That's that's the deal there, because that does the big damage. Um, and I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna focus on one enemy at a time here. They should die on the next turn. I could kill them now, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna move this guy over here just to continue exploring. I could move our friend over there, but there's a lot of enemies over there and I don't want to spread out too thin. This uses two AP. We have, okay, we have no AP on that guy. We have two AP on this guy, so I should attack someone. Okay, so let's go ahead and kill this guy. Oh, these guys are, they also have some nasty effects. I, I notice I'm losing health on, uh, steadily on these, these friends. Unless that's heat. You know what? That's more likely heat that I'm losing, which is good. Okay, so, um, okay, I, this, the information at the top is very helpful, actually. Six damage next turn. So I could hit them with more stacks of corrosion. Which I probably should just do anyway. Although I think now I can't. No, I can. Nice. So uh, that's that's not gonna do it. Not quite. So I'm gonna have to hit them again. Uh, we'll continue exploring over here. Nothing. Oh, there's actually nothing over there. I, I assumed that this map was like incomplete over here, but that's not true. So um, we can start moving units in here. I will just to cover the map a little bit and we'll end our turn this guy oh it's the enemy's turn of course so this is producing um wait a minute maybe this is manufacturing equipment fabricates heavy spiders well that's not good so i definitely want to get over there and destroy that thing this thing is going to take a while to get back over So we're gonna we're gonna slowly make our way. I don't mind having this guy in front because they're the one with the debuff. Um, I think that's it for that turn. Repair station. Is this used on allied units? I do. One of my units does have a repair kit. It's this one. Uh, CD 0 out of 2. I'm not sure what that means. That is not... Okay, 8 hull. It repairs 8 hull. So I actually I should probably use them on themselves. Let's go ahead and use it on themselves for now. Because they, they could actually use that extra hull. And then we'll move our other units forward. Um, you know, I don't want to move this guy too far. All weapons applies four corrosion damage upon. Oh, okay, cool. So this guy actually does, in addition to the debuff, they actually apply some acid as well or corrosion, I suppose. Okay, so these guys don't seem to be aware of our presence just yet, and that thing just produced another enemy. That's really bad. Uh, and it, enemy reinforcements are going to start spawning in, so we should really just like get in there and rare, uh, wreck, wreck things as much as possible. Um, I'm gonna make a bold move here. Um, and create an entry point. Yeah, I was in a way kind of hoping that would happen. Um, that shooting that would alert Oh my goodness, did it just, did two enemies just spawn? That is rough. Okay, let's, um, can we fire on these guys yet? Uh, that didn't seem to do anything. I think these guys are not spawned in yet. Oh, I wish I knew that, but I guess I know that now. That's okay. 
Um, let's go ahead and just wail on this guy a little bit. We should be able to destroy it. There we go. That's positive. These guys are going to spawn in now, maybe? They are spawned in. They didn't get to have a turn though, so that's good to know. Um, let's move this guy in and we're just going to focus on one enemy for now. Oh, he didn't take any damage. Two armor. He did. He took like a very minor amount of damage. And we want to use this guy, um, attack basically whoever has the biggest weapon. Um, Oh, so this this takes a lot of heat, or creates a lot of heat, um, plus 30 heat upon dealing damage. So this doesn't really do a lot of damage so much as it um, creates a lot of heat. So actually, I think I won't focus on those enemies just yet. Uh, I'm going to focus instead on this guy. I wish I could undo that move I just made right now, because that uh, they are not in a good position still. Oof, these are these are not good places I'm putting my units. You know what? Let's um let's go ahead and destroy this wall. I should have done it with the other unit. That was dumb. So uh, it turns out I should have just focused on this unit since I can actually reach it. Wow. I guess they are gonna take a lot of damage from the corrosion. That's that's nice. Hoping that this thing doesn't fabricate another enemy before I get to it, but I'm I don't hold out a lot of hope. Okay, so we just need to focus on this unit. Okay, we need to move. I kinda don't want to move in there, to be honest. That seemed to be a good move. I am capable of making them, apparently. Um alright, so we will get in there. Can we no, we can't reach anything good. So you're, you're. There is friendly fire in that um, they will block. They will block your, um, your range. Okay, so that thing just like disappeared. Oh no, it ran away. Okay. So I kind of want to block this entryway a little bit. Um, does this have? What does it have? Internal damage. Okay, so that's good, but I want to hit them with the cannon so that they are uh, weakened. I'm just, I want to hit whoever I can, honestly. Okay, that's good. And then I want to move this guy in and hit them with both barrels. Ah, that killed them. It was actually not a good move. Um, I What I wanted to do was weaken the damage of one and then kill another if I could. Um, maybe we can repair a kit somewhere. That takes two AP, so I can't do that. I should be able to survive one more turn with our friend here, so that's that's okay. Oh, we have... Wow, that's a lot of enemies. New infected units. All infected unit maintenance objects. Still not sure what that means, to be honest. This uh, repair kit dialogue seems to not be going away. Okay, there we go. I think what I probably should have done is uh, been a bit more aggressive, run in and um, destroyed that fabricator. Um, but you know what? This is like my first official game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a break for not knowing to do that. Uh, let's just. You know, these have the unfortunate armor that isn't going to work for me. So we'll just, we'll just get, get in there and uh, make some moves. Does this guy have, wow, this, this, our friend here is about to die. He needs to repair himself. Can I still, no, I can't still use my uh, weapon. That, that would be a lot of things I can do. Um, let's magnetic cannon them. I'm
I'm glad I healed them. They just, they, they would have died for sure. I probably have to heal them again. Uh, is this thing repaired? What? Okay. Alright, we need to be even more aggressive. So this is thing, thing is going to take more damage. It should now be a, like that. That looks like they will actually die. So that's positive, but I'm not seeing a good ending for this. CD one, two. I don't know what that means, but it looks like I can't do this two turns in a row. Sensors damaged. Okay, so we are going to lose one of our units. Um, I'm gonna move this guy. Let's uh, let's sacrifice this unit officially. Move as far away, but like you know, do some extra damage if we can. They they are gonna die. It's sad. We we mourn our fallen comrade robot. This guy's gonna die now, and they are dead. This, this is this is bad, real bad. Um, this is looking like a, you know, the bad end. I could have probably repaired some of my units. Oh, I can't actually use this yet. I'm not sure how to use this re repair station. Maybe it, I can't. Maybe it's only for uh, for the the bad guys. So let's, you know, let's take down a couple of robots, as long as we're dying. And you know, like, I, I always feel bad when I'm giving you a, a snapshot of these games where I've failed to show, like, a, a you know, the optimal way to play it, because that's always more enjoyable, I think, to, to watch. But maybe um, you can see how you would play this game better than I would, um, and you can also see the potential for having a good time with this. I think this is a, actually a pretty cool game. I bought it for, like I said, like $3 on sale. Um, it looked like a game with a lot of depth, and that is certainly true. Um, maybe we're, we're just going to like make a run for it. This is not a running robot. This is not a running robot. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, just like run and gun. That's what we're doing. We're running and we're gunning. Certainly something I, I kind of look forward to, um, like I, I actually do kind of want to get my hands dirty with this game, is, um, you know, doing some of the, like succeeding a mission and getting some of the extra weapons and utilities, um, and then seeing what, like, what this game looks like near the mid game or even end game. Um, I can see a lot of depth, maybe. So main menu, this is the roguelike portion of this game where it's like, yeah, once you're done, you're done. Um, th there is no continue, and I don't even think there's meta progression, which you guys know by now, my feelings on meta progression, I'm not a huge fan. So, you know, f for that, um, alone, this game gets a, a, a hearty thumbs up for me. Got enough depth that you can really kind of sink your teeth into it. Got some good XCOM tactics. Got some actual clever, intelligent AI units that, like, use the, uh, environments and the, the objects in the environment. Got some interesting tools and and weapons to try to make use of that environment. This uh, this game's got some chops, and uh, so you know, I, I I suggest you check it out if it looks like your cup of tea. But anyway, thanks for watching uh, my Let's Try series, and uh, you know I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.